Um, so, um, this is a story about tails. A town in Canada is being plagued by wild peacocks. Is it? See what I mean? Um, the birds have flocked to Sullivan Heights in the western province of uh, British Columbia in such large numbers that some residents say living with them has become unbearable. Authorities have tried to remove the peacocks, but locals say it is not working. Oh, look, peacock poo. And they do make that extraordinary... We just heard it a little bit there, that oh. sound, don't they? That's yeah. a cawing, which is... It's shrill. It's shrill is oh. absolutely the right word, Holly. I don't think I've seen a peacock in the flesh. In the flesh? Uh, for, there's, like, there's some, 20 years. Haven't you? There's, <laughs> some, there's, there's some that always give me a real fright. On one of my cycle routes, in the sort of leafy lanes of Cheshire, there's a whole lot that live in a house, and sometimes they, you know, I'm going past the house, and they make that sound like, whoa, I forgot they were there again. <laughs> You're yeah. a lot nicer running area than me. Yeah. It's pigeons I've got to worry about, not peacocks. <laughs> peacocks. But you know, the thing about peacocks, you can't have a black car near a peacock because they see their reflection and they try to attack oh. it. And wow. Pack it. So that never is, park your that car is near niche peacock. peacock knowledge. Well, that is specific. <laughs> I won't go past them on that my is... black bike either. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Thank you for that, Holly. I never considered that would be an issue. Since I haven't seen a peacock in 20 years, it doesn't really matter that I've got <laughs> yeah, a black car. Exactly. You'll be OK. You'll be safe then. The car will be safe.